Gleason. I'm a lieutenant from the Dawson Police Department of Violent Crimes. We're here today to talk about murder number 28, which was a horrific murder of a two-year-old child named Juliana Arevalo. On Tuesday, October 18th at about 2.30 in the afternoon, Juliana was taken to Dale Children's Hospital by her mother and her mother's boyfriend. Uh, Dale Children's Hospital did what they could for her, but by 2.45, she was pronounced deceased. Uh, the doctors noted numerous contusions uh, and injury to her abdomen. And the parents said that the child had fell from the staircase and they had attempted CPR uh, as a way to explain what occurred. Uh, the doctors advised that the injuries were not consistent uh, with a fall from the staircase and, and attempts at CPR. So homicide detectives were notified. Uh, our guys went to the hospital and began an investigation. Uh, the next day, on the 19th, an autopsy was conducted by the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office, and the death was ruled a homicide, uh, the, the cause of death being blunt force trauma to the abdomen. Based on the facts of the case and based on the information as to who was with Juliana at the time that this occurred, uh, based on some other factors that I can't talk about right now, uh, it led us to believe, and we do believe, that Stephen Cortez, uh, who is Juliana's mother's boyfriend, uh, committed the murder. He was charged, actually, with injury to a child, which is the same level of offense as murder, a first degree felony, was given a bond of $300,000. Uh, as of about 30 minutes ago, uh, the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force, which is comprised of the U.S. Marshals, uh, APD Intelligence, and various other law enforcement agencies, uh, located Mr. Cortez in Bastrop County and arrested him and is now in custody. Was the mother involved at all with the investigation of that arrest? Uh, we're still investigating several things involving the mother. Um, it, there, it is an ongoing investigation on her, uh, both by us and by CPS, and so we will see as to what extent she was involved with this and, and file charges if appropriate. But no charges yet for her? No charges pending yet for her. Did APD have a history of being called out to this residence on Vinson Drive? Uh, APD had a history of assisting CPS in the recent past with attempting to locate Juliana based on a report from a, another family member. Um, we assisted CPS, which led to CPS finding her and conducting an investigation um, about approximately the 1st of October. Finding her at the residence? I don't recall exactly where they found her. <coughs> so was there an open CPS investigation at the time of her death? Um, at, you would have to ask CPS that. There was, uh, recent to this event, there was a CPS case. Whether or not it was open at the time of the death, I can't tell you <coughs> exactly. Uh, but anything involving the CPS investigation would have to refer to them for so there was a period of time where APD and CPS could not locate Juliana? That's correct. Only only a matter of a few days. And then she was located and CPS conducted their investigation. <coughs> Do you have any details on how officers track down the suspect in this case? Uh, we have various means, um, but it, usually it's just historically. You know, anytime you're looking for someone, you go to, you figure out who knows him. You start looking in those places and they'll eventually lead you to where he's at. But he did not turn himself in? He, he did not turn himself in, no. Did APD attempt to take him into custody yesterday? Since the day this warrant was issued, the second it was issued, uh, the Lone Star Fugitive Task Force has been looking for him. Can you talk about his past at all? Are there prior arrests or he's been arrested? For he has been. He has a violent past, um, numerous assaults, you know, and, and a variety of other things. He was a violent person. They both took Juliana to the hospital? Correct. What did the mother say at the hospital? As I said before, their, their story was that she fell down a flight of stairs, and that's where the injuries came from, and then attempts at CPR, uh, as well as the Heimlich maneuver, uh, according to them, uh, is what led to those injuries. Is she still speaking to that story? You are not sure yet? The last time we spoke to her, yes. Does the mother have a criminal history? Uh, I don't know. Is she in custody at this time, or? The mother? No, she has no charges pending against her right now. Last question. Is there any way to know what happened to this child without the suspect saying outright what happened? Sure, there are. There, you know, based on the timeline of events of who was with the child last, uh, who witnessed the child uninjured last, uh, based on the medical evidence from Dale Children's Hospital uh, and the medical examiner's evidence and, and their expert opinion, all those things together build a case that show that these injuries are not consistent with the fall down the stairs and, CP and CPR. Was there something during the initial interview uh, with Mr. Cortez alleged your officers who believe that he was the suspect? Was there something unusual about him or, or his, his body? I mean, I, what I'm getting at is I heard that there was a swelling in his hand that was noticed. 
Uh, I'm not going to talk about the details, uh, you know, of, of his personal body when we talked to him, but he was uncooperative. Um, that plus his violent past, that plus his story not matching the physical evidence is what led us to believe it. Can you guys talk about when you were going into the home and found the bodies of children? Because I know that you said it was horrific. Yes. How, how do they reason over feeling that that was wrong? All officers see bad things every day, and, and over time you build up, uh, I won't say a tolerance to it, but you build up mechanisms to overcome the effects of it. And so you, you have to focus on the job at hand and, and just move past the bad things that you see. Did, did APD believe that an actual weapon was used to hit the little girl, or do you think there was just his hand or any way to We have nothing to indicate a weapon was used. It's just blunt force trauma. Thank you. Thank you.